Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Ran, and I'm going to talk about Killer Sofa, which is released in October at some point. We'll put the info in the description box below. I'm bad at this. But I did get to watch it, and I'm going to talk about it. So the movie opens up with uh, someone performing some sort of ritual over what seems to be a kind of lazy boy-esque recliner and does a blood ritual and uh, then it cuts to people going to move the lazy boy to whom we find out Francesca's home. So the police are in contact with her because they're trying to find someone that she dated a while ago who they suspect to be some sort of serial killer and they're trying to kind of find a resolution to their case. Weird things start happening. Francesca lives with her boyfriend whom we kind of assume he's not really that into girls so it's a great relationship for her. She always says that guys kind of seem to fall under a spell when they're with her and become way too obsessive and le what is it level 10 clinger status. I've never seen wedding crushers but the groom references it a lot and that seems like what these guys are. So now this sofa is in her home and weird things start to happen. Her best friend Maxie is kind of involved in all this as her grandfather, who's a rabbi, who owns like a kind of oddities store or like a secondhand consignment type store, did come in contact with this sofa and got some weird, weird visions of taking him back in time and he's not quite sure what's going on, but after some research, he sees that all signs point to a Dybbuk. I think that's how you say it, which in um, the Jewish culture is this kind of demon that is very, very bad news and it can possess you and the signs of you being possessed are, you know, chest pains and heartburn and just everything you have as an adult anyways. So I'm going to leave it off here. I mean, as the title might suggest, uh, the, the, the sofa does kill people in the best ways possible. and makes for some really enjoyable scenes. I liked, uh, I'll go on to likes. I liked that, you know, you get that weird feeling in the horror movie. You're watching the characters and they're like, and they turn and look and nothing's there. And then they turn back and then the camera pans up and it's the sofa, like literally in the window, just like, go kill you. The design for the sofa, there's two buttons on the back, kind of like, you know, how there's holes here and it looks like eyes. It was great. At one point it stood up by fully reclining and then leaning forward. It would use different parts of itself to help kill people. It also seemed to have some kind of control of her mind which was probably related to the demonic aspect of it. I'm not really familiar with demons but one would assume and it would make for a good movie. I thought that the, the gore was good. There wasn't a lot of it, but it was good. Um, it was like a pretty solid, you know, solid movie. What did I dislike? I felt like getting to some of the scenes took a bit longer than it should have because I have such a short attention span and I want things just going, going. I don't need a lot of exposition. I'm not always here for like a really, really good story, especially when it's something based off of a killer sofa. It doesn't need to be the most brilliant writing. But I probably would rate this like a 2.5 out of 5. I did really enjoy watching it. I would probably watch it again. I don't think there's any way I could get the groom to watch it with me just based off the title. He's going to be like, um, hard pass. Thank you. But this, this is definitely a movie for me. Have you seen the movie? What are your thoughts? Have you watched the trailers? Please watch the trailer and then leave me a comment down below. I'd love to know what you think. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. Hit the bell for all notifications of my future uploads and live streams. And uh, like the video if you like killer sofas or any sort of killer lounge furniture, I suppose. Um, 
You can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator. My solo as well as reviews with the groom are available on iTunes. Thank you to the Farsighted Network. Please don't forget to check out all of their amazing creators as well. And I'm going to go relax on my non-killer futon. See you guys later. Oh,